Thinking is one part of it. Doing is the other. And being is the last. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's levels to to how to be good. Even listeners, as us as fans, like we still fans of it. I keep see I talk like that and like I'm not in it. I'm literally doing something that's super relevant <laughs> right now. And I just right. see because I'm still a fan of it. Yeah. I don't look at myself and be like, I, 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 I'm horrible at talking about my own self, but I literally work on things that has everything to do with right now. And then I'll be looking at it like, you know, people as fans, they got to look at it and it's like, I'm not even out of it. I, I forget that because I don't treat music like business. Right. And it's like, funny, you brought up, you brought up meth and mm-hmm. meth is another comic book head. Oh yeah. 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 Now, have you had those conversations with him? Not the comic book conversations. We've been, the last conversation we had was someone working out. So he had, I was on his workout regimen. He, he <laughs> has gotten big as hell, man. Yeah, because he, listen, Meth is going to end up in a Marvel movie. Believe me. But, well, I saw him basically like plotting on Bishop from the X-Men. Like there's, there was these photos going around of a rendition of him as Bishop. And I was like, wait, that kind of looks. It's sweet. Like he could do that shit. Yeah. Now that's the thing. But when he does it, you transitioning all the way. Yeah. Like, you know, and I think meth loved music and uh, still loves music. <laughs> we just had a great conversation about, I was like, okay, so what was, cause I was watching Black Lightning. Okay. And I got, Cress Williams is like one of my favorite people right now. Him, Crondon, cause Crondon is in that show. Yeah. Lisa Williams, all, everybody in that show. That's why I'm mad that they canceled. It was just, you know, yeah, season four, that's it. And, yeah. But hopefully it's a twist. But uh, I was like, we was talking about something and I called him because I was like, I got to talk to somebody that know. Yeah. I was just thinking myself, like, I think I want to do something else. And I had this idea. Mm-hmm. And I was like, let me call him up. Like, Yo, wh- how or when and what happened? And so that's how the conversation started. And I knew he was thinking about doing something bigger. Mm-hmm. I know he's, it's going to happen. It's yeah. going to happen. It's, it's, it's bound to happen because that guy don't lose. Yeah, and the fact, you know, he, he's been doing a lot more acting mm-hmm. and rapping. Yeah. So it's kind of like he's, he's building it up. He's getting that work of that portfolio built up and everything gonna, like he that. Gonna, he gonna, he, he's a, he a superhero to us, man. Like Meth is somebody that people, he's a superhero. Straight up. I mean, I mean, I, if he gonna do it, he gotta go all in. I don't know if he gonna put the Jerry curl on the back of his head. Yeah, like, nah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he yeah. Might have to, they might have to throw the dreads on him. Though. Right, they, yeah. the dreads like they did in um. Oh man, was that Days of Futures Past? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah, the, 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 he was, he was that, and that guy was okay. On my side, yeah, yeah. He, he was, he was okay. dope. Yeah, he was dope. I like him, but it didn't. They didn't buy. See, we, we weren't invested in the character. No, and they gave him no dialogue. Yeah, they, they we didn't. That's they dropped that ball. He just ran around with a gun. Yep, that's it. And, and teleporting people. Yeah, so <laughs> it wasn't like the necessary origin story. As a matter of fact, I, I talk about that story. We, the party nerds, we talk about that story a lot because Days of Futures Past. They in in that movie they send Wolverine back in time to yeah. like to solve everything. Right. In the comic, it's it's, it's it's Bishop. Mm-hmm. Bishop is the one that gets sent back. To tell everybody what's up. Now, didn't now if I'm not mistaken, in the X Men cartoon, he did it that way too. Correct. And then Cable was the bad guy. Yeah. So they they changed the shit though. So you know. Yeah, it, it, that's it, the it. thing. That's the thing that we get into arguments about, especially yeah. through like all these comic book mediums. When they when they start to translate comics source material to TV or movies. Yeah, feel as though it's free reign to start playing with the characters. They and have to though. They have to. It's I true. Because because like we read the books. Yeah. So we're not gonna watch something that we know what's happening. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then they ding you the guy in the movie like, see, watch this about to happen. Such such gonna get shot. You know, then you got <laughs> things in the kids. You know what I mean? You got to still throw people off. So now, I understand it now. Right. You know? And it, 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 the thing is, they'll do it, and that'll be the impressions that they get. If we're talking about the social media world, the digital world, that'll be the impressions on social media. Be like, yo, you see they replaced this character with this yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, who the fuck is that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and then it gets built up 
and we're talking more about the show. Yeah. Has nothing to do with the show. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, boom, bad press is good press. Yeah. Well, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. You're, you're right. Sometimes. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you know, you know how you spin it. <laughs> Yeah, so so I see I see exactly what they're doing, and they tend to do that with either the MCU, they're doing it with DC and everything like that. Like people would get up in arms because they do like the race swapping and everything like that. To where I'm wondering where they're going. I don't yeah. know. I'm 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 wondering like after Chadwick, I feel like yo, you know what? People not gonna realize. Mm -hmm. He he bought a new excitement. Absolutely, the MCU, without a doubt. And but the whole cast did, and I and I and I, I'm interested. I think Ryan Coogler is a genius. Oh, most definitely. I think he's a genius. I think he's gonna figure it out. And I and I almost feel like he probably got it. You know, they probably still healing from the wounds and, and still. Oh yeah. But I think that they. It's even more important now. Yeah. You know, so like hopefully people don't fuck that up with with what that we're talking, you know. Yeah, cuz we we know in the comics that the the mantle gets passed down to Shuri, his little sister. Yeah. yeah. But T'Challa has such a reign on people. T'Challa was introduced in the 1960s. You know, so yeah. so it's I'm like gonna you, I'm gonna tell you about something though. See, because I did this thing last. I told you we were talking about it on Instagram. Uh -huh. I've seen Jaden Smith hanging around. Uh -huh. He's been hanging around lately. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure Jaden Smith, they even considered him or thought about it. or they Like Miles Morales got to happen. I don't know if he played the new Oh, play ab live action? Absolutely. Bro, that PlayStation, the, 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 the Spider-Man on PlayStation 5? <laughs> insane. I was up till 8 in the morning. I'm probably, see, that's why I can't play it tonight because I'll be up. I won't get up right. But let me tell you some. Here's a curveball. Mm -hmm. Shuri still has the grow. Yes. But we never saw Killmonger die, and he is in the family. It's true. It's true. Right? He right. never. We never saw him die. Uh huh. You understand? Yeah. The the camera panned out. Yeah, we it's never saw him die. Body drop. We never saw him die. Uh huh. And it's still family. Right. And that would be the brother. So it's still, it's uh -huh. still you know what I mean? And, and it's not like Shuri didn't just like save a man from being paralyzed. A like, random white dude. A random white dude. Yeah, so, yeah, no. <laughs> so why can't we just drop this dude in the lab real quick and just regenerate him, you know, with, with no problem? I feel like it ain't even regenerate. I feel like they didn't. I don't think he died. Yeah. That, that might be that might be it. I thought, let me say, I thought that they was going to do that anyway. Mm -hmm. When you know what I'm saying at the end of it, I was like, wait a minute, he didn't actually die. I don't like that's one that's the one thing I don't like the, M the MCU does. See, they be killing characters. They do, and you're not giving us nothing. And it's like, okay, I understand you're trying to save money because you don't want to have to pay this person and you don't want to create another Robert Downey Jr. Right. Like not nah, like he was a problem or nothing, but you. Mm -hmm that cost you, but they don't have to kill every character. You know, you know what right. I'm saying? You the kill MCU, them and then you, we don't have nothing to, to hold on to. Mm -hmm. The you MCU has the a merch. big, they have a big villain problem. Yo, they kill the merch. They kill the opportunities for people to like, they ain't nobody gonna like nobody like they like the Joker until you stop killing them. Mm -hmm. That's what makes DC different. That's yeah. why DC can do villain movies. I'm not a fan of them, but they do them because right. we, we're into the character. It's true. We get into the character. You know what I'm saying? And they can switch out the, the, the hero sometimes. But the MCU got to figure that out. They can't <laughs> kill them all. You know it, what I mean? It's true. They'll, they'll give them one-offs. And these are like really good villains. And then mm -hmm. they're pretty much shut off like immediately. So they don't carry on an arc for their villains like they do for their heroes. Man, and they got so many great stories. Like I'm waiting for my one of my goals is I'm I'm trying to jump into maybe write for some people that have comic books already. I have one that I've been writing for a long time. Okay, just developing my own just characters, and I do it like just for fun. Mm -hmm. But it's starting to become like a thing that I want to 
turn it into a thing, right? Right. And I was thinking about just jumping in and writing for some people that um, might have stories or, and just write a couple of stories. But I, I think that they need to start investing in Blue Marvel. Yes. I think they need to start and investing in her. Absolutely. Because that, it, for one, it's a one-off book. He's maybe made appearances in only three comics. Mm-hmm. And yep. the origin of Blue Marvel will piss a lot of people off. Yeah. It would if they if they really looked into it. You're talking about somebody who wears a face shield uh, through all of his fights because he doesn't want to basically reveal the fact that he is black. Yeah. And when it finally a- actually happens, the government actually tells him, look, we'll give you some money and you got to quit. We can't have no black superhero coming walking around here saving people. That's just going to bring up the wrong type of tension. And, and 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 the thing is, when you read the book, you're like, yo, like you're pissed. You're like, you're almost right. yelling. The, pre- the president is talking to Blue Marvel like you need to quit. You're going to start a messiah movement within your community. And we can't have this. So you have to retire. And he goes into hiding. That's ill. I didn't even get all the way into that. That's crazy. I forgot about the yeah. thing because there's pictures of him with the shield. Hold on. Let me. T- My damn dogs! I don't want to mess up. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Yeah, yeah. So I feel I gotta go back in. See, that's true. That's what happened. Yeah, and and the reason they didn't let him resume himself as a superhero is because they didn't want blacks to be inspired. Right. I by 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 what they what Nixon used to call the Messiah. Man, we have to. We got to jump into that character. I'm telling you, we have to. If, the, if anybody that they, because look, first of all, and he's and ridiculously powerful. Oh, he's super OP. You know super. what I mean? Super. And I feel like he's, when we talk about Iron Man and people like that, they need to just develop him more, man. They need to develop, they can actually develop him. That's a person that they can develop in movies and, and do. Mm-hmm. And have free reign to change things and build it as they go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not a lot on them. You know what I mean? Yep. Man, that guy. Yeah, because when, when he does reappear in some of the comics, he re- he reappears older. He's got gray hairs on the side yep. and everything like that. But the thing is, in that time that he's pretty much been underground and whatnot like that, he's figured everything out. Yep, 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 yep. And now he's just basically like, He's he's got like a bunch of people, a bunch of younger superheroes and everything that he's like mentoring and whatnot. I and, love that guy, man. And then <laughs> and then it takes off from there. But yeah, he's super OP. This is a person that's knocked out the hawk with one hit, like yeah, yeah. no problem whatsoever. Yeah. You know, but yes, to you resolve that yeah. is a character that needs that's, to be developed. They need to develop him, man. They Straight up. Yeah. That's the future to me. <laughs> Word. That guy, and, and, and best believe, it, a, after we talk about this, there's a lot of independent comic book creators that that I've talked to um, through, throughout my page. I've had all these like uh, IG lives with a lot of independent uh, comic book creators mm-hmm. that are pretty much developing their own worlds. It's come from the resolve of them getting tired of like retcons and stories and everything like that to where. You know what I'm saying? They're getting tired of characters, like seeing the same old characters over and over and over again. So they've gotten to the point where they've created their own comic books and they've been highly successful through like Kickstarters and everything like that. So you right. let me know, you let me know about that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, really. yeah. I, I'm 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 really the crazy part is I I so I've been developing the characters and then it turned into I, I'm right now developing a TV show for YouTube. Wow. It's only okay five to seven minute long episodes right now yeah the way it's like we watch that on instagram all day that's basically what we watch yeah so like i'm gonna try to pull it off because we've seen that happen before you remember the greatest american hero i do and with the silver silver upside down triangle yeah william cat you know what i mean manimal um yeah auto auto man i think it was auto man uh we saw a lot of flashes before. We saw a Flash TV show before. We saw mm-hmm. a Shazam TV show that never worked. Yeah, I remember the old Captain America that Alfred looked. Old Captain America. Horrible. Yeah, and I was so into it. I was like, oh, 
Oh my yeah. God, Captain. So I feel like I'm just taking that, you know, that route. Yeah. You know, because the world is ready for a new heroes. Yeah. Oh, be honest. We don't, need to, we don't need to. I know that they into. I know that corporations are into owning everything and mm -hmm. being in control of everything. But like, we ready for new. We ready for it. Yeah. On, like it's okay. It's all right. Y'all don't have. Y'all already got everything. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I was. I was telling. Um. I was talking to a, b a bunch of friends of mine about like the Comic-Con circuit. And of course we didn't really necessarily have one this year and anything like mm -hmm. that. But Marvel and DC have gotten to the point where they don't even sell comic books anymore at yeah. the comic book conventions. They're, multi they're a multimedia company. Yeah. So they're displaying their TV shows, their movies. Um, maybe they'll bring some cosplayers in to basically give you the look of what the costumes are gonna look like. Mm -hmm. But they don't even sell comics no more. When you go over to like the artist alley and most of the independent, those are the people that are actually like in the trenches, hustling, mm -hmm. trying to sell, basically selling their comic, their characters, their storyline to physically face right. to face with, with the customer. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So Marvel, they don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so it takes a look at a lot of people are starting to get, get uh, cognizance that there is other characters out there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I've, I've been trying to, that's the thing. Like, I feel like they, I feel like that world is like so um, underrated. Mm -hmm. And when we're speaking about just nerd culture, yeah, it's so underrated because there are a lot of brilliant writers and a lot of brilliant minds behind that stuff. Right. And, you know, we get a lot of the same stories. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, we don't need the same regurgitated stories from Marvel, and but we've seen them. Mm -hmm. And then because they're not willing to open up, they don't really open up the book the way that they they partially open it up. Yeah. We we'll give them the main characters and we'll add a couple under the tree as we go. But we don't need to do more than that. They'll be excited for just being open. Yep. But then they'll go by whatever turns into the biggest thing. That's Which true. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no room for a girl. Like, where let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Where would you say is there a hub for all these independent comic books and plays? Is it a place online? Is it a place? Do they have any place other than Comic Con like to sell? Like how else? Surprisingly, there's mm -hmm. a couple, there's a couple places digitally. Mm -hmm. One is Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. If you go on Kickstarter and you just hit comics, you you'll see an array of independent comic book creators mm -hmm. basically trying to get their storylines and their comics funded mm -hmm. you know, in order to put out. So a lot of the comics that I have here, just mm -hmm. all these, these are that's not, Marvel, they're not Marvel and DC. That's dope. They're all independent comic book creators. That's dope. That's dope. They're, they're all independent black comic book creators. Wow. You know what I'm I mean, I need, I need all of them. Yeah. So because I'm not even up on them. I'm not up on them. Yeah. And the thing is it, It'll go throughout the spectrum. You have sci-fi comics, independent mm -hmm. black sci-fi comics. You have you have epic fantasy, basically like Lord of the Rings and everything like that, like wow. that type of style. So, okay. so I I did a video on mine. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, Stranger Comics. So they did like a hard cover of the wow. themed. The wow. inside, yo, the inside of this man, good God. And they trying to find, oh, wow. Yeah. So, like, it's a hardcover. Wow. And they did this on Kickstarter. That's hard. So, they, so they, so they just go, you, I'm, see, now I'm going to be up on Kickstarter on that. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, like, so, like, Kickstarter is one place mm -hmm. um, that definitely has it. And if you're familiar with, like, uh, Image Comics, Valiant, Boom Studios, TKO Studios, these are all they're all major distributors, even though they may not be Marvel or DC or anything like that. They're major distributors and they put out a lot of really good books. And digitally, there's this there's this app. And a lot of people like physical copies in their hands. Other people like to read their comics on their iPads or their phone. Yeah, iPad okay. crazy, yeah. So it's Comixology. OK, so Comixology has like I think I, think I was on it. I think I know what you're talking about. Comics. Yeah. So Comixology has everybody like okay. everybody 
between not only Marvel and DC, but it has all those other major distributed comic books and everything like that. And you'll find like storylines you had never heard of, but dope ass storylines like Saga and uh, East Meets West and Excellence, which is uh, done by uh, Kari Randolph, who's did Spider-Man, another uh, black artist. And um, there's, there's just ton out there. There's a ton hmm. out there. That's the thing. I, I totally under the radar is that there's so many comics out there, especially like through through Kickstarter. Like, like even so, I got I got one I got one here called mm-hmm. Ember. This brother, this brother that got me this book, I got this through Kickstarter. He's from Ethiopia. Wow. He created an Ethiopian superhero character called Jember. And he not only has this in English, but he has this in the Ethiopian native tongue. Wow. And, and I bought that as well. So I got I got both. Yeah. So you know, and you know it's crazy, all of them are gonna be worth like somebody is going to out of that yeah. blow. You know what I mean? Like I just hate the thought of it always going back to, you know, Marvel or DC. Yeah. You know, and and I can argue those all day. I can argue them profusely because I I grew up on Marvel and DC, right? And, and just like those comic book creators that created those comic books because they felt as though they, um, they saw like repetition starting to happen right. with those characters, and right. they wanted they wanted to create something new. That's where you see a lot of these start to build up. Yeah, I, I got to get into them stories because I, I I had one guy I met at Comic Con. Here it was like a comic time here, and that's when I really was like, "Yeah, you know what? They need to be more new heroes, you yeah, need more new stories." Like, yeah, you know. And I'm completely a superhero buff. Like, I, I, I right. it's all superheroes over here. Like, I, the fantasy stuff I get into, like Lord of the Rings, I got into late. Okay, I didn't read the book. I, I you know, I, I didn't read the book. I didn't read Harry Potter, but I like the movies. Yeah, you know. Um, but I really got to get into that. Uh, that world, comicsology, but I'm gonna go to Kickstarter now. Yeah, like, yo, Kickstarter has everybody. Yo, let me ask you this: Do you remember the toy Sun Man? Yeah, you remember Sun Man? Yeah, Lick, Olek Comics. Hmm. Dog, I was trying. I wanted to buy the uh, story. You wanted to buy the storyline. I wanted to buy the story and, and develop what, it. develop it. Yeah, and I was like, literally, was like, let me look it up. This is that, and I kind of got spooked because I was like. Damn, because you know Hasbro took that lady out. Ah, yeah, they, the lady that 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 made the toys, OLED mm-hmm. toys. They took her out. Like, I mean, not killed her or nothing like that, but they just took her out. <laughs> put her out of the picture. But it ain't. That's not you know. Yeah, that, that can happen. To, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they'll do that too, and nobody will know. Yeah, uh, we bought you out. Yeah, they 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 um they sued her or something. She just she ah. did a lot of stuff, and all she was doing. You know, the story behind that was that she was just trying to make the toys for her kid because all he saw was the white He-Man and this and snack, yada, yada. Yeah. And so all of those characters on there was, you know, they she she started her own toy company and made some man. Mm. My dad gave me that toy. I wish I'd have kept it, man. Like, man, he you, gave yeah, me the you, Sun Man toy. The, I wouldn't, I ain't a person. I'm not a, like, sentimental value. I just never hold on to stuff. Okay. Like these, 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 um, my, my statues, I just like really started putting them up. Okay. Maybe three years ago. Okay. I just, you know what I'm saying? I just had them all. Like I had a storage in LA that had, man, I had some mean was been burned down <sighs> in that fire and shit. I burnt, lost it and shit. Um, but yeah, man, I, I never really been one for cinema value. And now, oh man, I just got this Alex Ross. I've been trying to get this thing forever. And somebody had one for like $800 and I found it for $199. Damn near brand spanking new, a dude sold it to me. But just like the panel or? or- no, it was, uh, it's like all of the old joint. They, it's the big heavy joint. It's before they did the PVC um, piping of, um, the way they're doing now. Mm-hmm. It was the heavy like stone joint of the Avengers. The old- oh, okay. Old school event. So it was an actual like rock sculpture. Yeah, it's a sculpture. Yeah, the sculpture. $199 with the card. It only made like 500 of them. I think it was like an old, yeah, but it's like 
I've been trying to get it, and the guy was trying to sell me one for he was like, give me a thousand dollars, but I think he just knew who I was, though. He was just being a dick. <laughs> like, Damn. <laughs> so so to get into the topic of nerdum, uh nerdum. Um, I I saw this uh, saw this post on on Ro- Royce uh, Royce the Five Nines oh, yeah. uh, Instagram yeah. where where Fredro uh, Fredro Star from Onyx basically uh, was discussing Royce and how dope he is as a rapper, but basically used the word you know that he's kind of a nerd in in the way that he flows. He was like, no no no, he's dope, but you know he uses like big words or he reads books or anything like that. And I saw that yeah. as being dismissive now for for a lot of a lot of kids that grew up as as nerds or being highly intelligent in the black community you know what i'm saying you saw like a lot of cats a lot of street cats like basically refer to you as corny or weird or mm. being a nerd because you know you 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 may have seemed a little different yeah you yeah. know because you 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 were in the comic books or that you like you still had toys at, at like a later age or anything because you were a collector or something like that. I got, man, I got, I got mad to it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so, so often, oftentimes, like you, you'll see moments like that, and I know Royce was fucking offended, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. But, 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 you know, oftentimes you feel as though like that word, in reference to a lot of other, from from a, from one black man to another black man, mm-hmm. insulting your intelligence. It, it's not even the first of all, I was poor on Fred Joe's part. I re, first of all, I respect him as a legend. Absolutely. And, and like Onyx was like, I mean, come on. Um, but it was irresponsible of, of him and childish. That's number one. Number two, it's not even if you're not able to read the room of the world and don't know that it ain't even a climate for you to even be if you gotta explain some shit. Mm-hmm. What you're saying, and you had to go through and explain it, you probably shouldn't be saying it. Right. And if you got to do all of that explaining of like, no, I don't mean it like, I don't mean it like, and it, because I understand things can get taken a kind of way. But it was kind of like they was doing it like it was like some inside joke. And I think that's what made it offensive. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You made like a subtle like nod to his homeboy across. Yeah. The- yeah like, because it's like, y'all probably had that conversation. All right. Mm-hmm. Cool. But you don't offend me when you say nerd because I beat your ass. <laughs> right. Like, don't get that twisted with whatever. Just because my intellect don't allow me to act a certain kind of way, mm-hmm. don't mean that I don't have a savage side to me that makes me feel like, nah, I need to, I'm going to get out of pocket. Right. We all can do that. I'm not telling that man he a punk. I'm not saying whatever. I'm not going to tell this man he this and that because that's, that's called insecurity. Yeah. When you feel like you got to do something like that, if the way you categorize it, this would make it whack as fuck. This this would make it corny. This would make him sound corny. Mm-hmm. You know, nigga reading books and all of that. Like, right. Well, let me explain something to you. So you got kids, because if you got kids, then you would want your kids to actually read books and understand what's going on. Mm-hmm. I don't understand where that became. When did that? What's corny is niggas still thinking like that. Yeah, then that's the real corny. Like, low key, that's what you want to, you know what I mean? I didn't feel like Royce could have not got upset, but you, you, you messing with it. I don't want to wake up and see a legend saying some shit up like that about me in a way where it's like a negative, you, mm-hmm. it was negative the way he put it. See, the word nerd is not a bad word. You're not going to make me feel a way because you say that. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I appreciate you acknowledging my intellect. Yeah. Right? I appreciate that you acknowledging the fact that my syllables ain't just regular random words. Mm -hmm. You know what kind of thought goes into the verses that he spit? What maybe you insecure about is that you can't rap like that. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's the problem. That's why you feel like that. Mm -hmm. Because you, this, 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 this apples and oranges. Mm-hmm. It's night and day. It's not even apples and oranges. It's night and day. It ain't two totally different things. It's true. But saying the word like that, the way he said it, it was the way that he, the, 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 the laughing and joking behind it, it was like, oh, y'all trying to be funny. Like, nigga, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't not over here. Maybe he don't know that. But that people used to do that with D12. They used to do that a lot. Because mm. you got the purple pills, you got the, let me, let me, let me say this. 
we may not ever be mentioned when it comes to great groups. We may not ever be mentioned, but, but we broke through so many barriers mm -hmm. of college, of, of overseas markets. Yeah. A lot of niggas is going overseas. We was tearing that road up. Puff and them hadn't even been over there as much as we had been over there. Mm -hmm. Dre either. Like we broke that wide way open, right? Right. And as far as touring and things like that. Then also, unfortunately, I can say that first it was corny to have a song called Purple Pills. Now everybody, all they do is pill and lean. I oh, man. You get what I'm saying? And nobody yeah. ever mentions that. That's not something I really want to mention. Yeah, I ain't even, I ain't even really. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's kind of like, I'm not proud of that. Right. But at the time, that's what we was doing. That's why I don't get mad with a kid talking about, look, I hope that you figure it out the way I figured it out. And I hope it ain't as late as we figured it out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But when he said it, the word nerd don't make no real secure person feel the way. It's right. your it's your action behind it in the way that you tried to belittle somebody. It's not even that type of climate, my brother. Like he, it, it was the wrong nigga. Ain't know how to read the room or something. I don't know where his mind is. Yeah. I don't know what he on? Because there's more important shit going on in the world than that. And I understand that's fun. That's like y'all having fun or whatever. But yeah. People people trying to normalize being disrespectful. It's true. You get what I'm saying? It's like no, I see you out of your you in your feelings. Nobody in any feelings, man. If I just walk up to you and call you whatever, yada, 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 you're going to be in your feelings. I'm going to tell you, you in your feelings because I'm trying to normalize my toxic ass behavior. Uh huh. That ain't no man. That's, not like, that's boy shit. Right. And, and it's almost like nowadays where they where they come to, to the realization that not only does sex sell, but drama sells. Listen, people, people selling us our trauma back. People, sell, we niggas are selling. People selling us our trauma. Something that we took, we would tell our stories from where we from. NWA told a story. Run DMC told a story. LL was telling stories. Yeah. They opened the world to our to our culture. Yeah. Oh, y'all want to ignore the fact that we in these projects? All right, well, we're going to make music and turn it into a gazillion dollar business. And then here they come taking and acting like they own. Yeah. We telling you our stories and then you learn how we was telling our stories. And now you sell us our trauma back to us. You know what I'm saying? Like the most simplest way to put this, niggas need to stop normalizing toxic ass behavior and acting like they saying something real or they just being real. Yeah. You know, have respect when you speak to people and about them. See, that's us, not the other shit. The mm -hmm. other shit is some housewife shit. <laughs> it's true. You feel what I'm saying? That and I and I'm being you no know, disrespect to no housewife, but technically. All the fuck they used to do when I heard about is Orange County. Housewives yeah. of Orange County. They was just sitting there cackling and talking about their issues. Yep. Throw a drink like, on you. <laughs> no men was sitting there doing that all the time. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between sharing your opinion because that's all it is. You're sharing your opinion, right? Right. But don't make me, don't normalize your toxic ass opinion. First, my mind you care all the time. Mm -hmm. Shut the fuck up sometimes. Maybe shutting the fuck up is underrated. Yeah. You can bleep the fuck out, but it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you, you can shut up. You don't have to say that. You can be respectful and be like, he could have just been like, nah, that's actually more technical rap. I mean, more technical rappers. That's the way right. you, if right. you want to classify people, they're more technical. Royce yeah. is a technical MC. Mm -hmm. There's nothing nerdy about him. If you see that, that like, you seen how he dressed? You know the nerdy about each. I don't even know where he get his clothes from. Like the nigga's just like, I'm, that's not my thing. Right. right? He's a I'm the nerd. rapper. I'm more of the nerd, but <laughs> I understand the. I live between technical and then understanding how to say things in a simple way. So mm -hmm. He's a technical MC. He's he's very yeah. calculated with how he writes. Him and him and him. They like that's that's what they are. That don't mean that. Like they different, like Kendrick is a technical MC. Yeah. J. Cole is technical about his shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That don't make them nerds. You know what I mean? Yes. Then if you want to say nerd to me, like I say, a nerd is like telling me I'm passionate about something. Right. Because it's, 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 I'm a nerd out on this tonight. I'm nerd mm -hmm. out on yada, yada. Right. Yeah. 
that that used to be the word that they would call us because we wear comic book shirts and we got comic book shorts. You know, nigga, I'm rich. I'm a rich nerd. I'm mm -hmm. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> That's my superpower. Nigga, being a nerd. Like I don't take it as no bad thing. I man, if, if I go on a date with a chick, the first thing I'm gonna say is, listen, I'm not going to this party. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm never going to be that. I don't know what a Birkin bag is. I don't give a fuck. I, but I probably met the the owner. Yeah. <laughs> I might even know him. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Big difference. Right. Don't mean it. I'm uh, I'm gonna be straightforward with that because I'm not ashamed of a being a, a person that has a level of intellect that don't align with whatever they call street shit, which I don't know what street shit is because I came from what they call that. Mm -hmm. I've been through every part of whatever the fucking streets gonna give you. I've died, I flatlined three times. I got shot. I don't respect this. I respect the nigga. I respect the nigga that got shot. I respect the shooter. Jay-Z said that. Like, I didn't want to get shot. Right. My, I'm a product of my environment, but that don't mean that I had to turn out the same way that I came from. Just because I don't hang on the same, but I'm right now plotting to buy my whole block that I grew up on. Wow. That's my end, that's my end game. That's what's right? So call me a nerd. That's cool. Cause I know how to do research. Cause I know how to look for myself. Cause I don't blame nobody for my shit. Because I'm because I take responsibility. I'm accountable, even for my emotions as a man. Mm -hmm. Men gotta stop trying to downplay other men. Period. It's true. That nigga just read the room wrong and he was corny for saying it. <sighs> And I love, shout out Onyx. But yeah, love, Onyx. love some Onyx. Fuck, man. Yeah, nigga, don't oh, come. Yeah. Like, you, you got the wrong, like, even the Big Sean. Mm -hmm. He's from here. They could call him a nerd. They could call him, uh, 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 um, uh, like the, the hipster or whatever. They can call him anything. Nigga, Detroit is fun. <laughs> Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Danny Brown. You could call all these people. You could say the same thing about D12, but you might have that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you could have pit it all wrong. If that's the case, you're talking about a myriad of people. Man, there's so many people you could say that about. Like, man, they could say Dan Gilbert is a nerd. Mm -hmm. Dan Gilbert is, a, is, is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man, he a nerd. You can say Elon Musk is a nerd. Absolutely. And he ain't got no business listening to anything you say. Leon, Leon, Elon Musk about to have a whole base on the moon. That's what I'm saying. He about to leave Earth. Nigga, you might want to try being a nerd instead of the shit you're trying to be. Right. It might help progress your thoughts. <laughs> Man, that to me is people saying it in a negative way. It's like the nerd might be the dude that's winning. Being smart don't make you, you know, any. It don't make you a punk. Yeah, it's true. It's just, that's just insecurity. I feel like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that's generally where it comes from. Man, even seeing some of the people like you go. To, oh, I want to go to Comic Con. I want to dress up like Iron Man and go to Comic Con. But I will whoop your ass in this Iron Man suit. <laughs> 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 like, like, but you know, like, and that's not all about that. It just say I'm, and I'm in, in a joking, way, joking way. But I'm right. saying, <laughs> I'm saying, like, yo, man, like, that don't mean hey, you might be talking about the wrong cat. And some people, and then just for the people that I saw, some people in the comments where it was like, oh man, he, everybody in their feelings, he touching, he wasn't disrespecting him, like, nigga, disrespect is disrespect. Mm -hmm. You're not going to say something and have a negative, like a negative, um. It's like you being condescending when right. you're saying it and you can yeah. tell that it's something that you think is. Yeah, you can slight somebody. You can slight somebody, right? And yeah. and take a word like that. That's not even really a bad thing because I'm no. taking no offense with it. I mean, that nigga a nerd. You know, he just says that. Like, yeah, I am. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, you, could, you, could you watch out? My car is about to park itself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like, get out of here. Like, you're not about to make nobody feel no way. You know, I'm still a man in my heart. I'm still a man in, in, in everything that I do. I take care of my parents. 
I take care of my family. I do everything a man's supposed to do. I just know how to enjoy life. It's true. Ease up. <laughs> you know what I mean? A word. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ease up. Look, like, it was funny, though. I woke up, I was texting him. I was like, oh. Because, you know, he, I was just like, man, what is happening? Why are you talking to Fredro Star? What is, why are you even talking about him? Like, what, what that, 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 that video came out quickly. <laughs> Yeah, because look, here's the other thing. He, I don't need to, you know. Mm-hmm. He said what he had to say. Yes, he did. They, they and 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 Fredro got the message. He understood. Yep. What we're saying, and they they good. It seemed perfectly clear. But people in general, we should probably stop. Especially black people, right now, we don't got no business talking yeah. about each other and putting everybody about. down. Yeah, no, nah, that shit, it ain't even the time for that. Mm-mm. These motherfuckers that like they want to load their trucks up and start driving down the street and just shooting niggas again. So you might want to chill out on all that because you're going to need the nerds too. Pretty much. <laughs> you, know what I'm you might need to figure some shit out and guess yeah. who's going to solve that? Yeah. Man. Well, yo, I appreciate you doing this with me, man. Man, listen, anytime, bro, I'm, I'm ready to be on party nerds. Have me on when I'm ready. I'm ready. To go. Whenever, whatever y'all doing, everybody, y'all call me. I'm good. All right. I, I felt with y'all heavy. I, I y'all heavy, man. yo, hey. I was so happy I found out. I was like, what? Where have I been? What is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, and I had just, me and me and my homie just started recording our podcast. Okay. And we not even, I was going to call it a podcast. I'm doing it. It's straight to YouTube. I don't even okay. care what about you know what I'm saying? It's like right. it, it, wherever it end up, it's fine. But we recording episodes right now and just putting them all up because, like, we talk about any and everything. Everything ain't always serious with us. And like, we doing giveaway. I'm giving away the PlayStation Five. I'm giving them PlayStation away. Uh, I got this, you know, this cool thing that I'm doing with Oculus where um, nerd shit. Yeah. So I'm going to set up a couple, do a date, set them up. We're going to pick a couple and we're yeah. going to send both of them on Oculus and they're going to do an Oculus date. Like, you know, a move, you know, because you can watch it hey, on screen yeah. and all that. Now, if, if the guy really like you, he's going to really go through it and try to figure it out. And if the girl like you, she's going to figure it out too. Mm-hmm. So people got to talk. It's like, that's the world we live in right now where we got to be stuck at home. It's so, true. You know, so we're doing super, it's called, uh, uh, you said what? Is the mm-hmm. you said what show? So, and I'm I'm so anytime y'all want, man, whatever, hit me up. I'm I down, you. man. I, I fuck with y'all heavy, man. And keep you got my number, right? I you have my number. number. Yeah, hit me anytime. I'm definitely gonna be hitting you up about these comments because, like, I'm into it, man. I'm anytime, it. yo, yeah, I got. I, I got see you. the picture you got there. That's like that's the that's the uh that version is the version of the Alex Ross joint that I got. Oh, okay. That yes. and that Scarlet Witch. Uh huh. That's what they look like—the old school. Yeah, the old ones. The, Man, the... I was wondering if they was gonna do that. Like, <laughs> I think I've seen it on the TV show. Like, they might try to do it. Yo, well, how you feel about this? Like, DC killed their streaming. Dog, they killed it. With to me, I loved a lot of their shows. Mm-hmm. COVID affected them, but they was on a roll. What do you now? You talking about the CW shows, or you just talking about like the this DC the universe DC that they put out with Titans, Titans Swamp it, Thing, yeah, um, Harley Quinn? I, I was upset about Swamp Thing being canceled, bro. Yo, man, I'm mad about that because I like that show. I like that show. <laughs> Yo, Swamp Thing. Uh, um, oh, I like Star Girl. Or Star, you know I like, what? Yeah, I got I like, into like the first few few episodes, and I got to get back on it. I like that show. I like that show, and I'm super upset about Black Lives. I'm completely upset. I don't want a painkiller spinoff. I want Jordan to win, but mm-hmm. I don't want a painkiller spinoff. I don't think we need it. That's some, that's some CW like. Give it, us the hot black guy because you know we want to keep him, but we're we'll, we gonna get rid of. Everybody. I, I thought that was weird because they just announced the week before that Painkiller was getting his spinoff, and then it was like, oh yeah, Black Lightning's getting canceled. I was like, whoa, hold up, what y'all doing? <laughs> Yo, man, that's a bad move. Straight up. That's a bad move. Black Lightning is a pivotal character in DC. Let me tell you something. That show, though, Mm -hmm. incredible. 
Yes. The show was incredible. Yes. Listen, I I don't understand, and I'm no offense, but I don't understand how the fuck Arrow was on so long. Straight up. <laughs> I don't even get it. But you taking on Black Knight after four seasons? Man, are you insane? Yeah. I'm lost. I'm lost. Same. Arrow, you could put me in a, could put me completely in 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 a, in a, in an alternative universe and yeah. let me get eight seasons of Black Lightning before you give me right. eight seasons of Arrow. Like straight up. That was just you're still the same game though, man. We seeing the same thing. It, 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 it's disappointing, but I I'm I'm like I'm saying all these DC movies move to HBO Max for some reason. Yo, did you see that on the 25th, Wonder Woman come out? Yeah. Wonder Woman's going to... Sh- that's a, a, what I said about that was that it's kind of like the first pin to drop. Our, our theater's pretty much done at this point because they're going to release it in theaters limitedly. Yeah. But it's going to be on HBO Max the same day, Christmas Day. They're going to kill it. Watch. Yeah. They're going to kill it. Man, I'm telling you, I told people when I got... Apple TV. When I got an Apple, Dre put me up on Apple TV. He's like, he said he was at the crib. Mm-hmm. His, his, his wife had um, bought him. She got him uh, Apple TV. I was like, Apple TV? He's like, yeah, man. All the music. I've been listening to music all night. He was just watching. This was some time, long time ago. Right? Yeah. And so I got an Apple TV and I was like, movies are over. Yeah. Movies are over. I thought it way back then. I talked about it a while back. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, this is it. Forget I, about it. Way before, way, way, way uh-huh. before I said, this is it. This is really happening. I said a situation like this, like the pandemic happening, and then a, a, a for, for the turn of events to happen where movie studios were going to start pumping their, their movies, not the content that Netflix was making, like Netflix making original movies for right. Netflix. Right. Major movie studios, Universal, Paramount, yeah. and all them. When they start putting their shit on streaming services, yeah. forcefully, like they're putting a world premiere, like, like something like Wonder Woman going on to streaming services, on to HBO Max, it's kind of like, it's kind of like free game to say, yeah, Theaters are done. Like there's a theater a mile, not even less than a mile away from me. Closed. Yeah. Closed. They're closing them here too. They they yeah. they closing. Yeah, it like it closed. I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool with it because like you can retrofit it to do certain things, but man, it's the same game. Yeah. It's the same game. So like we gotta figure out what to do with those spaces, but <laughs> this was coming anyway. Exactly. It was coming anyway. I'm going to tell you, there's a couple businesses, though, that people could really, really like. They can make money in. Like, it's, it's mm-hmm. a, you just now have to be thinking about the latter. Like, you got to yeah. be thinking about the next phase because movie parties at home. Like, I got yeah. theater at the crib. So, I'm, I, I can't w- listen. Christmas Day? Forget I'm about it. I'm laughing. I'm, 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 <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing. I got a time. I'm gonna be there at eight o'clock. I know it's this it's, it's a thing for me. Right. So I'm gonna go back and watch the first one like we would do in the normal theater. I'm gonna have a mm-hmm. whole marathon. I'm gonna watch the first one. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the second one. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna watch it. Yeah. Like I'm happy about it because I feel like they gotta be thinking, bro. Man, we waste a lot of money on certain things. Yeah. Like Business has got to be thinking like, no, I think we're going to let everybody work at home because it's probably, we saved so many millions without having an office building and paying for lunch and paying for, yep. at Disney, they buy, they have catering, they have everything at the campus, Disney campus in LA, yep. they have catering, they have this, this, that, and some of these companies they cater they cater big ass lunches. They they, they might spend two thousand dollars on lunch. Mm. So when they taking all and they keeping all them expenses and you working from home and you getting more work done. Mm-hmm. I got the mirror. You know the you know the workout mirror. Yeah, yeah. Once I got that. I was like, man, listen, this is the Jetsons is happening now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Pretty much, yeah. If you if you're not a self motivated person. Forget about it. It's going to make people either 
be more like more like you got to be your own boss. You got to motivate yourself to do something. You got to meditate. You got to pray. You got to make sure that your shit is together. You got to make sure your mentality is right. Because being at home, I work at home. I got the studio here. I got the, the podcast right now. But then I also have the things that I do to relax. Yeah. Everybody and I that's fortunate, I understand that. But we still, it's ways to, we can we can turn this around. It's mm-hmm. ways that we can turn this around. And one thing about them, tell you something. One thing you notice, know one thing about us, one thing about our people. Ingenuity. Our, we, 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 ingenuity is our thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's all I got is a stick and some rocks. Yes, I'm gonna build a fire. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna build a house out of that. Fire. We yep. gonna figure it out. Figure it all the way out. They ain't even thinking about it. Mm-hmm. The government just thinking about we gotta make this change. We gotta do this. We gotta do this. It's Hollywood. They trying to figure out what's gonna happen. I don't know if you look like there's some Detroit movies. That, uh, this, this McGraw Ave, mm-hmm. um, um, Plug Love movies. All these movies, these hood movies, and all this stuff. They being watched more and more and more and more and more. They becoming their own small cinemas. Black exploitation what? films. Remember Black Exploitation? Yeah. That's all that is. It's the evolution of it. Yep. Now and I don't even like straight to call to YouTube. It. Yeah, it's straight to YouTube and straight to that's why I'm doing my show. I'm like, no, nah, we're gonna shoot I'm just doing my, I want to a black sci-fi. Mm-hmm. That needs to be a thing. That needs to be a thing moving forward. Yeah. I want black sci-fi. Like my thing is I want to get into, and I don't like saying black exploitation and black sci-fi. I want to be a sci-fi writer. Yeah. A fantasy writer. Mm-hmm. Because we need all of those people, all of those books there. Yeah. We need them. Science, and and, and, and and I'll end on this note. Instead of telling our kids to figure out how to play basketball, because now, remember, that's, 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 that's about to be in trouble, too. Yep. Sports. Now, scouts got a big problem because I don't know where to find the next guy. Because mm-hmm. you're not playing at a high school that we pay to give us their best. Yeah. Now I got to really go out into the hood and find them. Straight like, up. It's, it's a all, whole. It's like that scene from Blue Chips where Nick Nolte had to go to the hood. To the hood. To yes. the cup game where Shaq was dunking on cats left and right. Yes. Listen, <laughs> now they got to really do it. Just because we need to push science mm-hmm. more to our kids. Yeah. We need to put science and math because if they know what their body is and they know how they, how their body work, you can't put no vaccine in them that's gonna kill them. It's true. If they know if they they want they want you won't be able to give them messed up foods. You won't be able to. It's like no, I ain't doing hmm. that. I don't figure that all this out. You know what I'm saying? That I know how to do it now. Mm-hmm. No, I don't trust that. You can't tell me that because it's this and this and this that compound and it makes this and it destroys the heart and it does this. Mm-hmm. We need that. Yep. So, 